On the 28th of July 1988, Sihed Modi, the national champion for a record eight consecutive years, was killed by a group of four people who fired five bullets straight to Sihed's heart, killing him before he could be taken to the hospital. Early Life Sihed Modi Hussain Zaidi was born in a small village named Kama in Garakpur, Uttar Pradesh. When Modi first started going to the school, the person who entered the name in the school roster mistook his name Modi as Modi, which was a more common name in the subcontinent. In his schooling days itself, the talent was easily recognizable as far as badminton was concerned. And the family worked hard to afford his coaching fee for the badminton academy. In 1980, aged 18, just when he was eligible to play at the senior level, he dethroned the veterans in the game to claim his first national championships. He went on to win eight titles in as many years, a feat that is still matched by none after so many years. He was awarded the Arjuna Award in 1982 for his heroics in the Commonwealth Games. When Love Came Knocking In 1986, Amita Kalkani was in the team which represented India at a junior badminton year in Beijing, China. Sihed Modi was present in the men's team when the two met for the first time. It was love at first sight as the two continued to meet after coming back home. Just after turning adults, both of them wanted to take the next step as they approached their families seeking permission for the marriage. And the two families opposed to marriage, however, Amita and Sihed were adamant as they got married in a registry in a hastily arranged ceremony. The Turning Point Amita met Sanjay Singh, a powerful politician hailing from Amity belonging to a rich, high-class family, in a function in Lucknow. An extramarital affair was on cards as Amita and Sanjay grew close to each other. While Modi went on to win several laurels for the country, Amitu had to take a break because they were expecting their first child in 1987. Although the joy of their first child should have settled the issue, the gaps widened as Modi suspected that the child was not his. Marital discord affected his game to such an extent that he lost his first senior national championships in 1988 which ended up being his last participation in the tournament. Sanjay was a close friend of the then PM Rajiv Gandhi so he did carry a lot of power as far as the administration is concerned. D-Day After Sihed's training ended at KD Singh Babu Stadium, Lucknow, he had a habit of visiting the nearby shop for cold drinks and snacks. But on the 28th of July 1988, when he was enjoying his snacks, a group of four people came out of a Maruti car and fired five bullets straight to his heart from close range, thus, ensuring that he died before he could be taken to the hospital. The country lost its charm as far as badminton was concerned. The Verdict CBI filed a charge sheet with seven accused which included both Sanjay Singh and Amita Modi, later Singh. But, in the absence of any definite evidence against them, both Sanjay and Amita was relieved from the case. The verdict did leave everyone puzzled because it put five people on trial for committing a crime without any motive. With both Sanjay and Amita absolved, who else could have conspired to murder Modi has become an unanswerable question. A question which still remains unanswered even after more than 30 years of his death. Soon after Modi's murder, Amita married Sanjay Singh which confirms their affair. <laughs>